everyone, in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to do the Suzette stitch. Um, it's a really lovely stitch, it's very very simple um, and it's just um, once you've gone past the second row the pattern just repeats over and over again. This is a face cloth that I've made, um, so I'll show, I'm will show. i going to be making another one of these in this tutorial um, but obviously you can use this stitch to make literally anything you want from a great big blanket down to a nice smaller scarf. Um, but I'm going to be doing stitch counts for this particular face cloth here and then you can use my crab stitch tutorial for the edging at the end if you want to which I will leave a link for in the description. So obviously if you're doing a face cloth or something like that then you're going to want a cotton yarn and um, for that blue one and for this one I'm going to be using Stylecraft Cotton DK and this particular shade is called Plum. So to start with you're just going to do your slip knot, so you're just going to place the yarn over your index finger and wrap it around in front of your working end and then take your working end and wrap it around your finger again and hold between your fingers and then pull the back loop over the front loop and pull up and that is your slip knot. Um, now for these particular face cloths I'm going to be doing a chain of 32 but you can literally chain any width that you want as long as it's an even number. So as big or small as you like, just make sure it's an even number. Okay, so to chain you just yarn over and pull through the loop. Yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through. And you're just going to do that until you get to your desired width. So I will be doing 32. Okay, so I've done my chain of 32 and I'm now going to work back along this foundation chain and to do that we're just going to work into the second chain from the hook so you don't count this one on your hook and then you've got your first one here and your second one here and we're going to work into this one and you're going to do a double crochet into that second stitch. Now remember that's UK terms if you're in the US you'd be using your single crochet. So you're just going to insert your hook into that chain, yarn over and pull up. So you've got two loops on your hook and yarn over and pull through both. So that's your first double crochet into this second chain space. And now you're into this same chain space you're going to do a treble crochet. But remember US this would be your double. So you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into that same chain space, yarn over and pull up. And you've now got three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. And then we're going to skip one chain. So we're going to skip this next chain here and we're going to work into the next one along. And you're going to do the same thing again. You're going to do a double and a treble into that next space. I've got my three loops. And then you're going to do that again, you're going to miss one and then do a double and a treble into the next one. So double and then a treble into that same one. So it's your double and treble and then again you're just going to skip one and do the same again and you're going to do that all the way along. So if you want to pause the video here and work your way back to where we started from. So I've just done my double crochet and treble crochet and then I have got two chains left. And you're going to miss one as normal but then into this very last one you're just going to do a double crochet. So remember that's UK double, um, single in the US. So you're just going to do a double into that very last chain. And so that's your foundation one done. And then to move on to row two, you're just going to chain one and then you're going to turn. And we're going to start working our way back across now. And so into this very first space where we've done a double in the previous row, so at the base of where we've just come up, we're going to do a double and a treble. So straight into that first space and you're going to double and treble, both into that same space. And then you're going to miss a stitch, so you're going to miss this stitch here and work into this next one here and you'll see that it's just the top of the double that we did 
in the previous row. So you're going to miss one, I'm going to miss this one and work into this one. And you're going to do your double and treble into there. So double and treble. And again, you're going to miss this next one and work into the next one here. And you're going to do your double and treble again. And you're just going to do that all the way along. So again, if you want to pause here um, and just meet me back when you get towards the end of your row. So I'm just nearing the end of this first row now and I'm going to skip one and work my double and treble into here as normal. So I'm going to do my double and my treble and then to finish off this row so that we have nice straight edges you're going to miss one again and then you need to do a double and only a double you don't need to do a treble as well so just a double into the next chain along so you're going to skip one here and double it does look like it's coming around the side um, but it, this just will pull it straight after in, in a minute you'll see so skip this one here and do your double into this one here which does look like it is just on the side a little bit so you're going to insert your hook into that stitch make sure you get the V and then you're going to do your double so yarn over and pull through and then that is your side and so that's the row 2 of your pattern and you are just going to repeat that now for the entire project so you would just chain one and turn and then you'll start working your way back across just like you did for the last row and um, you'll do your double and your treble into the base of this one here and then you'll just work into miss one and work into the next miss one and work into the next all the way along again and when you get to the end you will do your double and treble into this one and then miss this next one here and do your double on its own again into the top of that stitch just here and you're just going to carry that on for the size that you want your project to be um, obviously I've done a square for this particular face cloth um, but you could obviously do any, any size that you want um, they're also really nice dish cloths as well but just keep measuring your size if you want it to be a square measure your your this is obviously where we started from and just measure that and just keep measuring as you think you're getting near the end of your square and then like I say if you want to put the crab stitch border on which just gives it a nice simple finish then I will link my tutorial for that in the description box as well but I really hope you've enjoyed this Suzette tutorial and if you have please remember to give me a quick thumbs up and remember to subscribe if you haven't done so already but thanks again guys and I'll see you again very soon